Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And Ireland have named their 23 to face the Springboks this weekend. Loftus Fastfield, 5 o'clock, put in your diaries. You don't want to miss it. It is going to be the game of the year. And only probably going to be topped by potentially next weekend's game uh, down in Durban. But it is the grudge match. The hype train is firmly uh, left the station and uh, yeah, listen, it, do it doesn't get much bigger than this. We've got Springboks releasing hype videos, we've got shots being taken in the media, we've got statisticians putting up all the various different stats about the different teams and uh, we now finally know exactly which of the players in uh, the Irish squad will be facing the Springboks this weekend. Before we look at that, please do smash like on the video, please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? And uh, it's a pretty expected team. And, and, and one thing about Andy Farrell is he doesn't really deviate, to be honest. He knows the strongest 23. He knows what his strengths are. And he's, and he's backed that. You know, it's a 5-3 split, for example. He's not going to be pulled into you know, uh, naming a 6-2 split to try and rival Springboks' physicality. Ireland and Paul O'Connell spoke about this in his press conference earlier this season. I mean, earlier this week, rather. They're focusing on themselves. He said this is the nice thing about this current Irish setup is that they focus they focus more on themselves than it is on uh, on other teams, for example, and and the likes. And I, I really like that. I think as well. I think you know you've got one of the best sides in the world, top two, three best sides in the world. Don't change you know for other teams. Yes, adapt where you can, but you know don't reinvent the wheel. Let's look at the side, shall we? So in the front row, it is Andrew Porter, Dan Sheehan, and Ty Furlong, as expected. In the second row, it is Joe McCarthy and Ty Byrne. What a tight fight that is. Scrum battle is going to be absolutely immense. France Mahova versus Andrew Porter. Recek Maditwe in chair versus Tag Furlong. And then uh, Mongi Manami going up against Dan Sheehan is also going to be a really cool match. Uh, a matchup. I mean, Joe McCarthy, for me, one of the best players, most improved players in the Six Nations in terms of like a breakout tournament for him. Tag Byrne, I still rate him as probably the best utility forward in the world in terms of can play in lock and flank and be, you know, affect the game. He's great on the, at the breakdown as well. You know, for, so for a... You know, a lock who can run the line out, can play on the flank, and be good at the breakdown. Uh, he's a very impressive player. And then a back row of uh, Peter Omani, who will captain the side. Caden Doris and Josh van der Fleer, former World Player of the Year. All the jokes about him being from South Africa, while well, he'll be in front of a Loftus crowd this weekend. Interesting to see how he does cope. As expected, Craig Casey does start ahead of Conor Murray. He is the closest thing they have to a Jamison Gibson Park with regards to his speed at the breakdown and a very attacking orientated scrum half. However, He's not Jamison Gibson Park, and um, that's going to be a massive loss for, for Ireland. And, and I say it with great respect to Craig Casey. I'm a massive Craig Casey fan. Jamison Gibson Park, for me, if you had to sit there, put in you know, a, a World Player of the Year nomination list of what we've seen so far this year, Gibson Park will be very close to the top of, of mine, to be perfectly honest. And uh, Drak Crowley starts at uh, 10. The centers are Bundy Aki and Robbie Henshaw. And you've then got a back three of James Lowe, Calvin Nash, who has got a press conference on the channel as well, speaking about his time in Ireland setup. And then on debut, J um, Jamie Osborne gets an opportunity. Very exciting player. Obviously, you know, Hugo Keenan as he continues to prepare for the Olympics. So Osborne does get an opportunity. Off the bench, it will be Ronnie Kelleher, Keenan Healy, and Finley Bealham. Plenty of experience. I mean, Keenan Healy is a centurion. Um, but also maybe sometimes people have talked about the fact that maybe that's a bit of a lack of loose head depth in the fact that they have to keep bringing Keenan Healy um, and uh, Andrew Porter often plays 65, 70 minutes, to be perfectly honest. Um, you then got James Ryan and uh, Ryan Baird. Very nice players there. James Ryan, um, I think it's a bit of a point to prove. I think, you know, he's, Joe McCarthy's kind of like sort of leapt frogged him. Um, and, I, and I think that he won one to try and sort of bring on an impact. Uh, I've been very impressed by, by Baird and, and the growth of him. Um, then you've got the experience of Conor Murray, you know, also international centurion, knows how to close off a game. Uh, you then got Kieran Farley and uh, Gary Ringrose, who is an absolute. Uh, yeah, I love Gary, watching Gary, um, Gary Ringrose play as rugby. He's, he's so much um, fun to watch. Uh, so as expected, a big Leinster feel, obviously, in terms of the clubs. But it's a, it's a good side. Um, we're going to do a bit of a video on sort of exactly, and you can actually go check the team profile, by the way, also on the channel in terms of seeing the individual heights, weights, and stuff like that. Um, but I actually, funny enough, if you look at it as a, as a collective, um, I think they're actually taller and heavier than, uh, on average, than the Springboks squad. So all this talk about, you know, the Springboks physicality and the Springboks being so big, this is a big Irish size. And we even saw it from um, France, France Mahoba during uh, Chasing the Sun saying, yeah, oh, listen, these guys are also big. So that physical battle is going to be absolutely immense. You know, the scrum battle, for example, set-piece battle in general um, is going to be huge. So 
absolutely can't wait for this one. We're obviously going to have a bit more of an in-depth look at some of the matchups when we do our official preview, which will be out tomorrow. Until then, smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.